share this video from our YouTube and tag us and you could win those 30 days. Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off, wax on. Oh, hey. How are you guys today? Come on in. So, welcome back to UFC Gym uh, for episode five of Rick's Tidbits. Uh, for those of you getting started into the new year, I wanted to go over some things when it comes to injury prevention and just getting your body going. Uh, you're gonna wanna focus on two main parts, right? You're gonna want to get that core activated. You wanna get those glutes going. Whether you're new to the gym or whether you're a regular, it's always paramount to, to protect yourself from injury so that you reach your 2019 fitness goals. So today, I'm gonna show you how to activate that core and activate those glutes very simply, right? We're gonna keep it very, very simple, okay? I'm gonna show you some exercises. You keep those two things strong and your movements are gonna be strong, your body's gonna work more efficiently and you're going to prevent injury. Okay, so the first exercise I'm gonna go over uh, right now is going to be the plank, right? Activating that core. I'm a huge, huge fan of the plank. It helps out the core tremendously. Uh, when I talk about the core, it's not necessarily the abs, it's all the little muscles that hold your organs in, protect your spine, everything like that. So it's gonna be that entire midsection right there. So let's start with some regress motion. So for those of you that are sedentary, you haven't done anything in a long time, I'm gonna show you how to start off with the plank and, uh, and, and how to do it, right? So a lot of times, you're gonna see people doing planks wrong, their back's gonna sag, or they're gonna have their butt too high in the air. There's a million different ways that it can go wrong. Um, you gotta activate, so you're gonna suck your belly button to your spine, you're gonna squeeze your glutes. Like I said, this exercise to me is paramount. In fact, every single time I train somebody or do a class, this is the end of your warm-up, right? So you're gonna do some moves, get that blood flowing, get those muscles ready, and boom, we're right there directly to the plank, okay? So this is how it's done correctly. And then I'm gonna show you how to, how to make it easier in case your blow back can't handle it. And then I'm gonna show you how to live on the wild side and make it nice and hard for you, right? So number one, toes down, elbows down, palms up, everything in a 90 degree angle. My arms aren't way under me, they're nice and under my shoulders, right? Everything's nice and square. What I'm gonna do is toes on the ground. I'm gonna elevate myself, squeeze your glutes, slight bend in the knees, and you count, and I'm shaking because they're hard. But you're gonna wanna do repetitions. A lot of times I see people just wanna hold it up and stay there. That's fine, that's dandy, right? I, you know, that, that's okay. It's not necessarily the wrong way, but doing it in reps is a little more efficient because you're getting those muscles to contract continually. So I'm resting and then contracting and then resting and then contracting, right? So you're forcing them to engage rather than just stay. It's harder that way. All right, so I showed you how to do a plank, right? Now, a lot of times, like I said, if you're sedentary, you hadn't done this, you might not be able to sustain that position or you might feel pressure in your low back. If this is the case, make a real simple adjustment. So you bend the knees, right? Get your feet in the air. You're gonna raise up, belly button the spine, squeeze the glutes. Don't forget to breathe. All right, so now, for all my athletes and superheroes out there, I'm gonna show you how to live on the wild side with the, with the plank, right? You're gonna use the TRX right here. These are phenomenal. They help you engage that core, uh, create that stability. I love using these things. So I'm gonna show you how to do a plank on the TRX. Uh, these are tough, man, they're fun. All right, so you wanna make sure that you're even, all right? You don't wanna be lopsided like so. You wanna be nice and even. You don't wanna be off to one side. You wanna be nice and straight, right? Nice and straight. Um, make sure your, your, uh, your feet are safely secured inside the TRX. And then you can either do them from your elbows or you can do them from your hands. It doesn't matter, it's up to you, right? So I'm gonna be here. And again, same principles apply. Belly button to the spine, gauging that core, and I'm also breathing, just like this. Boom. Bending the knees a little bit, engaging that core and going for whatever amount of time it's gonna challenge. So now that the abs are warm, we're gonna move on to my favorite muscle and that's the glutes, right? Gluteus maximus. Uh, the glutes are responsible, they're vital, not responsible, they are vital to strength and power, right? It's the biggest muscle in the body uh, for the most movement, okay? So when you're not using your, your glutes, 
you're taking away your best friend. You're taking away your biggest asset, right? So it's gonna create all kinds of dysfunction when it comes down to the knees because of your hamstrings, your quads, your low back start suffering, and the list goes on. Plus, who doesn't like glutes, man? We're gonna start today with the bridge. So the bridge, this is the easiest exercise to get those glutes engaged. So if you haven't been doing anything for a long time and you just need to get it going, this is a perfect way to get it started. All right, so first thing, of course, you're gonna get onto the ground. So you get on your back just like this. Okay, right now, if you're just getting going, don't worry about foot placement, all right? So you definitely don't wanna be like this. You want those heels pretty close up, close to your butt, right? If you're way out here, fine. If you have them narrow, that's fine for now. We're just getting you going. Now, just like the plank, you're gonna wanna engage that core. Belly button to the spine, right? Keeping everything nice and flat. Then I'm gonna have my hands next to me just like so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring my hips up, right? I'm gonna bridge upward, keeping the core engaged. And it's gonna look like this, boom, at the top. Squeeze those glutes, right? So at the top, I'm gonna squeeze my glutes. I'm gonna let it come back down. Very simple exercise. So you're gonna wanna do a lot of repetitions of this. Um, I, would, I would recommend starting with repetitions of 24. You can also hold at the top to engage a little more core. So you'd be something like this. You come up, hold for three seconds. One, two, three, and come back down, right? Two to three sets of that. That'll get you started. Now, we're back up on our feet, so you wanna get a little more creative with it. Body squats, body squats are excellent. Any kind of squat is going to engage that glute, right? But you gotta do it right. I see some funny looking squats out there, okay? Now watch this. So you don't wanna squat like this. That's weird, man. That's just weird, right? You also don't wanna squat like this, okay? That's just weird too. You're gonna wanna have your feet under your hips, have them out shoulder width. You can have your toes pointed out a little bit if you want. Like I said, right now, that doesn't matter. The goal is to get you going. My preference is gonna be about shoulder width and my feet just slightly angled out, okay? Chest out, shoulders up, throw that butt back, coming down, boom, just like so. My, my knees are not over my shoulders, head, chest up, coming back up, boom. Now, if you want to live a, bit of, live a little bit on the wild side, we're going to use the TRX straps. Again. These are excellent because when you're starting off, these are going to help you with stability. So you can grab onto the handles. I'm going to step back, right? I don't want to step back to where my arms are extended. I want them to be just bent. So these are just going to be a guideline. It's not anything that I'm actually hanging onto for dear life. Okay, so I'm gonna start with a reverse lunge. Just coming back, boom, everything nice and straight, right? So front knee right here, 90 degree angle, back knee, 90 degree angle, standing up nice and tall, core engaged, and you're just standing up, and I can alternate, boom, boom. You don't see my arms extended out all the way, right? You don't wanna do that. Like I said, you're just using it as a guide, boom. So when you're using the TRX straps, you don't want slack, okay? You wanna make sure it's nice and tight, all right? That way you're not the, you, you, they're gonna help you balance a little bit. So if you need the TRX for that reason, that's perfectly okay, that's why they're there, all right? They're gonna help you out. But you wanna be nice and tight, right? You don't want any slack in it, you wanna be nice and tight. That way when you're com coming back, you've got that good stability going there. Like I've been saying this entire time, if you're just getting started, getting yourself going for 2019, start with that core, start with those glutes. You tighten those up, you get those working properly. It's gonna be very, very good for injury prevention. Therefore, you can prolong your goals and just get there, right? You can get there safely. You don't have to keep stopping because, oh, my knee, oh, my back, so on and so forth. Most of the time you're getting those pains because you have a weak core or you're not activating your glutes correctly, right? And then here's the beautiful part. You keep going, you reach your goals. You can take this to the gram, baby. Now as a part of us to help you get motivated to reach your goals, we're giving away a 30 day pass to come into this gym, all access, 
couple training sessions, all the classes you can handle, right? All you have to do is go to YouTube and share this video.